sponsor and it happens to be a Wednesday. <laughs> so we are all new some excitement just with that. And yes, I think uh, Neeraj, Sheetal, Friday Filmworks and Hotstar, in some ways this is the origin story of Hotstar specials because before we had a strategy, we had an ambition to work with them. And before we wanted to do or needed to do anything else, our first step as a company in this direction was to call them and ask them if they had a story to tell. So I think if we have gotten somewhere in the last five years, we have gotten there together uh, in lockstep with them. We have learned together, uh, we have had fights together, and we have come out of the right side of those fights to create two incredible seasons of special ops, which have in some ways been foundational to how big series are thought of in this country. And of course, today, the conversation is about the incredible achievements which is creatively the freelancer. And it's a brave story being told by a really, really brave team against the odds. And the making of it, the challenges that they have been through, the creative hurdles, the production hurdles, and to see so much passion and commitment on the line for somebody who's uh, just a suit. It is really awe-inspiring, and I think more than anything else, every one of us in Disney Plus Hotstar, we are in thrall. And I can tell you this, that the response to the first part has been incredible. So I'm really, really hopeful and excited. And that has got us unknown because you know after four episodes we want more, we want more, but we'll have to be a little patient. So thank you so much, sir. And as you said, uh, Nilat, sir, it's it's as the first part, firstly. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I think Gaurav has summed it up beautifully. Our relationship and the way we uh, sort of delivered the three bonding pieces, and now uh, the second part of Freelance is on its way. Uh, I think. It's, it's a very interesting world right now in terms of uh, content and uh, I'm glad that we found an able partner in uh, Disney Monster. We're willing to take these risks that, uh, that we wanted to uh, as well and deliver content pieces like this and uh, I'm glad that it's paid off for all of us. And as audiences, we've loved it completely. Thank you, thank so you. Thank you so much for giving us that and request to please take the hot seat of content and also a special mention to the cast the way they've the way they've delivered each and every character so thank you for keeping us hooked keeping us gripped once again thank you a couple of questions i know our media ke dost an unbelievable unshakable faith in his qualities as a storyteller how he wants to always challenge himself and surprise and tell thrillers in a style which is incredibly unique and hugely powerful so i think for all of us, we first came to him as, as fans of his craft. After that, I think there is a lot of comfort that we have with, with Freddie Fingers and Sheetal. He's an amazing force. And, uh, and I think uh, this partnership has, has brought us great joy over the last five years, as I said earlier. And of course, I think the two of them together brought this incredible cast together. And somewhere they have history and somewhere I have history. So uh, I think it, it's all fantastic. I think uh, you know one of the foundational stones in, in my career is, is Mahadev. And, and Mahadev is Mahadev also because of working. So he's somebody that uh, I'm incredibly in awe of and, and hugely grateful to. So I think uh, this was a very easy decision. And I think uh, when you don't think of the people, uh, you then think of the story. And I think the story is, is gripping, and it explores a world that is not seen before in, in Indian cinema or in television, and definitely not on streaming either. And that world and the fears and the challenges that it poses for all of us, right? Uh, for every one of us, in whether we live in Bombay, whether we live in Delhi, whether we live in the everyday complacence of our lives and in some ways that complacence that sense of freedom the sense of belief that you know tomorrow is likely going to take care of itself in some ways 
Neeraj and this team are, are challenging that. They're posing us questions which are about truly how dangerous this world is becoming. And I think as, as storytellers, we have to, you know, face this uncomfortable truth. And I think there is something to be said for, for doing it powerfully and also doing it entertainingly. You're, 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 you're scared a little bit. And I think there are moments in the show which are very, very scary. Uh, and, and also there is a thrill side to it, and we just got evidence of that in that spine-chilling scene and amazing performances from both the actors. Uh, so yeah, all of that makes it an incredible package. Uh, I think uh, a lot of it relies on the response that we get from our audiences. They are the ones who encourage us that uh, we need to push the envelope a little more, uh, to work harder, not to repeat ourselves. So, I would definitely assign it to my audiences, the ones who have loved our work over the years, who sort of quality checked us all the time. So I'm one of them, and actually thank you for that. Thanks to Neeraj and his vision. Uh, he constantly you know, pushes the team to push the boundaries and find the right things. It was challenging to be here, uh, but yes, we found the right location and work. So there's many things. The country closed down because of COVID and within six hours we had to reach the airport, buy a ticket and get out of it otherwise we would have been stuck there for a couple of weeks. We managed to do that, but yeah, finally we went there and we recreated Syria. It was a wonderful experience. And yeah. Uh, well, thank you so much uh, everyone for being here and thank you for the great response. Yes, I think my journey has been really exciting uh, for a lot of reasons. Uh, the first and the foremost reason for Mr. Neeraj, Neeraj Pandey. Uh, obviously, I've been a huge uh, man and fan of uh, Neeraj's work. So when he uh, called me and he told me that he's you know, uh, uh, making a series which is inspired by this book, uh, Ticket to Syria. And uh, the journey started back then, I think it was been more than three, four, three years, I think, three, four years. So, yeah, it's been, it's been filled with a lot of ups and downs. Some, uh, it's not been less than any roller coaster ride for all of us uh, because of the because of various reasons, you know, uh, because of the terrain that we were shooting in uh, in Morocco, and a different uh, uh, a culture and different uh, people to work with, you know. But we had some you know, amazing uh, uh, international crew also, and the journey of uh, Avinash Kamath has been great, you know. I think he's an underdog, uh, and now finally on 15th of uh, December we will see. What the outcome is, will he be able to extract her and how and where he'll be do it? Uh, he'll be able to do it under the guidance of Anupam sir. So yes, the journey has been a good one. Whatever he tells me, I just do that. Mm, and he makes my job easy. And he acting is always in my heart. He's always in my heart and my heart. He's always in my heart. He's always in my heart. That is the beauty of hard work and uh, years of work. Um, I'm as you said, today is Wednesday. So, tab se lekar ab tak ek silent uh, communication hota hai isme. Ye mujhe challenge karte rehte hain. Main inko kuch thoda bahut chabi karta rehta hoon. And I think that thoda bahut nahi. Matlab, I think that's the that's what I enjoy working with both of them. And they're not more than friends. They're like family. And uh, ye jab se ye veteran stalwart bagara. के वर्ड्स इस्तेमाल होने होते हैं उस समय तब से मैं ज़्यादा चौकन्ना हो गया क्योंकि मुझे लगता है कि इस एक दिन ऐसा आएगा कि मैं यहाँ पर वैसा की पहन के लेके आऊँगा और स्वील चेयर में ऐसा नहीं होने वाला कि 90 आई बी वर्किंग लाइक एन न्यूकमर बिकॉज़ माय कंपटीशन इस माइसेल्फ � Neeraj, constantly challenging you. No, it's, it's a fun, it's a great joy to be working with them. Not only as an actor, but as a person also, you get to learn so much from them. In the second part of the show, as it's mentioned, the conclusion, uh, we will see how uh, the freelancer finally plans and makes his way towards Alia. Uh, how he develops his team, uh, the kind of action pieces, the set pieces you'll see. The challenges for me was how to scale it up, uh, the kind of uh, places where we shot, the kind of uh, action set pieces that we designed, uh, the journey that each character takes, 
Uh, there's also a very special, distinct way you see Al uh, Kashmira uh, in the second part of the series. How to navigate those, craft those, and build it to a crescendo, a very action filled ride, is what the biggest challenge was for the second part. You have given eyes to their visions. Uh, to the audience for giving us such a sweet response. And a bigger thank you uh, to Neeraj sir, to Hotstar, to Fairy Storytellers for giving me this opportunity to play somebody like Alia. And when they select you, you start thinking, oh, is this for real? I mean, they think I can do this. <laughs> you know, till you get it, you're like, no, I want to do this and this is mine. And when they believe in you, it's magical. And um, um, how I approached Alia was purely how nicely she was written and how journey, how our journey was written. Uh, why I think I I feel lucky that I got a role like Alia to embody is because her journey is so challenging, from a sweet innocent girl who wants a normal life to whatever she's going through. Um, at one point, she embraces it and she wants to fight back, and I love to fight back. And uh, that, the layers have um, shown itself in that journey and I have loved it and it has taught me a lot, this, um, the role of, I mean, Alia has taught me a lot and it's lovely to be a part of this project, you know, to play Alia along with these brilliant people here, that's the beauty of it, that's the magic of it. The audience has absolutely loved it, so congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much, thank you for appreciating the stories. <laughs> Uh, yes, we have a very aggressive uh, lineup of shows that we are very, very excited about, beginning of course with the freelancer. So before we come to 24, let's end 23, hopefully with a big eye and, and fans really liking uh, what, what we have to share in the conclusion. After that, we have uh, three shows that I do want to talk about which are really exciting. First is we are bringing the third season of Legend of Hanuman in uh, January and that's uh, India's first you know large scale animation designed for all audiences not just for children and it's Indian mythology told in a way of storytelling that hasn't been explored in a very big way in India before that definitely on streaming uh, not done before so that's very exciting then we are doing a very interesting story with Ravina Tandan in the lead uh, and it's exciting to partner with her for the first time for us and that should be a good show. It's a, it's a twist on the kind of stories that Star has told for over two decades. Let me not tell you more. Uh, wait to hear from us over the next few days, very, very shortly. Third, we are collaborating with Karan Johar on a fiction series called Showtime, which is set within the film industry. And it is Karan Johar telling a story about nepotism and what nepotism can do to a film studio. So that should hopefully be exciting as well. And then of course we have, uh, you know, Ram Madhwani and Neeraj Pandey coming back with other stuff which we're not going to talk about today. But yes. Right now asking you a question over here. It's so good to see you. We have, like we both have come so far to Yamate. Mujhe freelancer bahut pasand aaya. I want to ask you a question. Avinash Kamat ke kirdar ko play karne ke vakt ya uske baad kya us kirdar ne aapko affect kiya tha kuch kisi way mein? Because humne aapko dekha, aapne jab Mumbai Diaries kiya, aapne bahut hi behtereen doctor ke kirdar ko play kiya tha. But this character, like mujhe us kirdar se bhi zada behtereen laga. So kya is kirdar ne aapko affect kiya tha? Uh, thank you. Uh, but I don't think that this kirdar has affected me. Learning things of this As an actor, when you approach a kirdar, you just have to follow the vision of your director's vision. So I was following the vision of Neeraj Sir and Bhav's uh, vision. Uh, which way they have thought about the characters in their mind. On a daily basis, we would explore that. As uh, the scenes were going, as the approach was going. Uh, every approach would be different, just like we have seen that shot that Anupam Ji in front of me was standing in front of me. His approach was very different. Neeraj Sir especially had bloody red eyes, so it was that kind of approach. Tha. So I don't think that I have carried baggage with him or whatever, but I uh, uh, enjoyed the journey. The journey has been one of the most memorable journeys of my life. Uh, 
the reason we मैंने कभी भी ऐसा एक underdog play नहीं किया है who comes out of nowhere and becomes something else and has a second life in place you know so it was a very interesting arc for me to play and be अभिनेता films in terms of you know characters and plots as well can we see a multiverse in your web series as well like special ops and freelancer coming to a crossover for a multiverse Nothing, nothing of that sort is going to happen. I mean, these are two totally different franchises, and uh, uh, now that it has become a trend, we are bored of it. I am not interested. If it would not have been a trend, we would have might possibly given it a chance. The idea, but since everybody is doing it, it's not for us. Not fashion, but it is. उसके बाद पूरी उम्मीद है मुझे जो सीजन टू है, वो भी माइंड ट्रेन ऑस्ट्रेलिया में होगा. पर मेरा ये सवाल है. कि अगर आप 2023 की जितनी भी फिल्में देखें, जितनी भी सीरीज देखें, सब वायलेंस से भरपूर है, सब कुछ एक्शन से भरपूर है, पठान, जवान, टाइगर थ्री, इसके बाद एनिमल, तो हमको ये नहीं लगता कि फिल्में कहीं ना कहीं समाज में बहुत अच्छा मैसेज देने का प्लेटफॉर्म है, क्या हम इतना एक्शन, इतना थ्रि� इस प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस के मेरे कॉन्ट्रैक्ट में हॉटस्टार में बोला था कि हम सिर्फ फ्रीलांसर के बारे में बात करते हैं और मैं चाहूँगा कि मैं उस क्लॉज को अर्थरा रखूँ हम यहाँ फ्रीलांसर की बात करने हैं इतनी मेहनत की है लोगों ने सब लोगों ने और उस मेहनत पे हम कोई और बात करना शुरू कर दें तो फिर उस बात पर ज़्यादा चर्चा हो जाएगी बेटर है कि हम इसके पर, इसको बरकरार रखें इसकी मर्यादा को आ, ये सवाल मैं आपसे बाहर चल के कॉफ़ी वॉफी पी के किसी दिन करूँगा ये हम फ्रीलांसर में मुझे बहुत मजा आया बहुत अच्छा लगा मुझे मैंने बहुत मेहनत की मेरा जो लुक है मेरी वाइफ का फेवरेट इस साल का था शो उन्होंने मेरी कभी 2023 में तारीफ ही नहीं की मैंने काफी काम किया एंड उन्होंने मुझे कहा कि नीरज का नंबर सेम है क्या मैंने कहा हाँ सेम है क्या हुआ नहीं उसका सेम नंबर नहीं है मैंने उसको मैसेज भेजा कि मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगा फ्रीलांसर तो मैंने फिर उनको कहा कि आप फोन करो तो मेरे लिए तो ये 2023 बड़ा अच्छा गया है सॉरी इसकी रंजीत कंसर्न भगवान का लाख लाख शुक्र है कि अपने इलाज से मेरे कास्ट के साथ चल के सो मच मेरा घर चल रहा है धन्यवाद so I would like to specifically mention the scenes that I've gotten the most reviews for all the people that watched the first few episodes called me and were saying कि why are you talking for more than three minutes in the bathroom scene and they were like, we know you when we watch it, we are so gripped, don't talk more, it's done three people used to look at their watches and be like, okay, it's done three minutes and done. But that takes me back to the time we were shooting it and uh, it was the same day that we shot all the bathroom scenes. And they, uh, those scenes for me were quite um, challenging because it's something really extreme that Alia um, goes through or the information she gets about losing her father, about uh, the betrayal that she is facing, about being trapped. So yeah, that one day or the bathroom scene especially for me were very challenging. The Mohit and uh, Kashmira's character is fit for them. Uh, Mohit's character, if you've seen how Avinash Kamath is, he's someone who's the first part of our journey, dekhi. he was someone in Mumbai, very rooted, and who was as rooted as possibly you can be, and then he was operating in Europe as well. Someone who has a lot of range. एक जगह हम देखते हैं कि वो बॉम्बे के एक ऐसा है, और दूसरी जगह हम लोग देखते हैं कि वो यूरोप में टॉप इंटेलिजेंस एजेंसीज और मर्सिनरीज के साथ इंटरैक्ट करते हैं। So you need someone with a lot of range. Uh, and that's why Mohit fit the bill perfectly. We have, we have seen a glimpse of him before doing some action here. The opportunity was much bigger. Uh, Kashmira gave a fantastic audition. Uh, she was, uh, we needed someone, again, someone very innocent and someone who has a transformational journey with uh, Alia. Uh, it was a very, very extensive pro process with uh, Alia's character. We had a number of auditions in Kashmir was fantastic. More of Dr. Khan and freelancer, the conclusion. Can you tell more about your role, please? 
मैं तो हर फ्रेम में होना चाहता हूँ मगर हमको कहानी भी सुनानी है बट आई मस्ट से दैट जब मैं शूटिंग कर रहा था तो मुझे लगता था क्योंकि मेरा कैरेक्टर इस तरह का था जो इंस्ट्रक्शन दे रहा था तो मुझे लगा था ठीक है ठीक ही होगा कोई खास बट आई थिंक द रिस्पॉन्स दैट आई गॉट इज फिनल एंड यस आई थिंक द कंक्लूजन ऑफ वील आंसर विल हैव सम मोमेंट यू विल सी जो अभी सीन आपने देखा जैसे उसमें एक एस्पेक्ट उसका नजर आता है है काफी कुछ है आई थिंक और वो धीरे धीरे पेट भर के नहीं काम करना चाहिए थोड़ा रह जाना चाहिए तो अगले सीरीज में ये कुछ अब मुझे चुनेंगे जिसमें हर जगह मैं नजर आऊंगा आपको मतलब इधर भी उधर भी और एक्टिंग करता हूँ ये मेरा इनको ऑडिशन था ये फ्री लांसर इसमें देखो मैंने कितना अच्छा काम किया है और अगले उसमें ले लेना मुझे मैं उनको तो स्ट्रगल करता रहता हूँ इनके साथ बहुत स्ट्रगल करता हूँ इनके साथ जिन जो मुझे पसंद है डायरेक्टर या जो लोग मुझे पसंद है तो मैं उन हफ्ते में एक बार उनके ऑफिस जाता हूँ आप उनसे पूछ लीजिए और काम मांगने जाता हूँ खाना खाने की एक्टिंग करता हूँ और एक्चुअली काम मांगने जाता हूँ बोलना चाह रहे हैं कुछ अभी चीज के बारे में पब्लिकली सच है ना क्या सच सच है कि मैं मैं काम नहीं 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 मांगता नहीं पड़ती है वो बात अलग है मगर मैं मांगने जाता हूँ अच्छे बार मुझे अच्छे लगते दे आर वंडरफुल पीपल दे आर देर अमेजिंग पीपल दे लाइक ए बैड हैबिट अच्छी आदत फिर भी छूट सकती है बुरी आदत नहीं छूटती है बट थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर आस्किंग दिस क्वेश्चन मेरे मन की बड़ा निकाल दे तो मुझे मौका दिया मजा आएगा आपको पार्ट टू में भी आपको कंक्लूजन बहुत मजा आएगा इट्स वेरी थ्रिलिंग इट्स वंडरफुल इट्स अमेजिंग इट्स इन्होंने कितना अच्छा काम किया मैं जब शूटिंग कर रहा हूँ इनके साथ इसी अप्रिसिएशन तब होती है जब आप काम करते करते मन में दाँत देते हो कि वाह जो आपने हमने जो इन्होंने सीन किया आई नोटिस एट दैट टाइम अर्लियर आंसर वॉज funny but uh, when you did that shot where you were uh, holding the gun for me it was wonderful and i really appreciated uh, and it's i'm very happy that and my mother is a great fan uh, the thought was that to, to make it as big as possible the story had a lot of challenges in it and uh, we like to take challenges and uh, that's the reason we we just thought of it i mean we want to make it as big as possible pehle ek plane tha neeraj ko phir baad mein char chahiye the to yeah that was the final fit <laughs> okay uh, my next question is to anupam ji anupam sir ji uh, जिस तरह से एपिसोड्स जो जितने आए फोर काफी ऑडियंस को बांध के रखा और अगली कहानी और भी इंटरेस्टिंग है कि किस तरह से आर्या को बचाना है जो पूरा मिशन है तो किस तरह से आगे वाले एपिसोड्स जो और ऑडियंस को बांध के रखने वाले हैं कुछ स्पेशल थिंग आगे वाले एपिसोड्स की इफ यू वॉन्ट टू शेयर अकॉर्डिंग टू यू आई थिंक नीरज की राइटिंग में सबसे बड़ी बात यह होती है कि जो लिखा होता है वैसे वही नजर आता है Uh, there is no editing done after that. He's going to cut it. That's the thing that uh, minimalistic approach that he uses. Or you have also asked me about Shita Ji. How do you be? How do you decide that you are different from other people? You have been very good in your work. Today's time, there are so many people, so many things. So how do you become an a leader, or how do you become a different person? Is by working very hard. and that's what you will see in uh, in freelancer and on a side note i want to tell you the first person who did my interview in mumbai before i got into movies was said a jobar from maya movie and uh, i'm thankful i always had mai kuch nahi tha aur mujhe wo prithvi theater mein mile the bali peter jaun aur said a jobar sahab aur unhone mera maya puri mein interview kiya tha so i shall be remembered that you are from maya puri <laughs> it is uh, actually um, <laughs> it's it's a great story that draws you and in this case uh, i was happy that bhav was uh, excited by the idea of uh, leading this one and uh, putting this ensemble cast and uh, help us in in shaping up this particular story 
uh, but it's always the story. It starts with the story and ends with the story. If the story is worth sharing with the audiences and you've got faith in your audiences, the audiences will enjoy that ride. I mean, that's the biggest motivation. Thank you for your question. Thank you so much. Well, that's all the time we have. One more? Yeah. As you say. Please. Good afternoon. My name is Vijay Lakshman. My question is for Gaurav, sir. Hi. Yeah. Hi, sir. Uh, my question is, um, the freelancer has a very global theme at the same stage. You know, it's about espionage and a whole lot of other global issues. And I think that's what translated to its success, at least with the first edition. Why, in your opinion, A, has it translated to that kind of success? And secondly, why do you think is there so much anticipation for the second part? Yes, I agree with you. I think uh, I said earlier that there is an increasing feeling today that we are all living in a very dangerous world. There are wars erupting in every continent now. And the threat of terrorism, threat of somebody coming in from outside and taking away everything that we treasure, right? And I think all our homes, there is deep hope always that you come back to your loved ones wherever you are out through the day. You want to return and have that one meal together. You, you want to be with your family. Those are the things that people genuinely live for. And in some way, all these dangers and the sense of a temperature and the heat rising, right, with intolerance, uh, with the threat of war, all those things are, are things that Everywhere in the world, people are worried about it, they're concerned about it, and they're certainly concerned about it in our country. And we can see that with the response that uh, this show and the first part of it has taken. And because the first part has worked really well, and anything that we have shared about the second part, including the scene that you also uh, I could sense that the reception was really positive, uh, which is what gives all of us here hope that the second part will also be well received. We don't know, Hello. but as always, we Dekhate live on hope. And, and we believe that the audience in India is looking for discerning, well-told stories. And I think if people have the heart in the right place, and I think everyone here has, has certainly done that and, and devoted so much of their time, given so much of their passion to make something well, hopefully the results will also be meaningfully good. Thank you, Thank you so much. much. Thank you. Thank you.